grabbed us, but they didn't call it. And then uh, they scored, man. Got momentum, took it straight down. Us answering back was huge. Then we got to stop. Then we answered back again. Then we scored. After we that, we scored six straight drives on six straight touchdowns. And I thought our offense just competitively just kept matching that thing. And then the defense kept getting his feet on the ground. We moved the ball. They moved it. Then they got a couple stops in the red zone, tight zone, and then got down to it. But our competitive nature to keep matching, keep playing no matter what the circumstance, play the next play, play the situation, was very good. So proud of our guys. Get you know it's a big Southwest Conference Classic, uh, Southwest Classic, excuse me. And uh, what we're doing, getting a rivalry game in Arkansas. All that game with us is always a dog fight. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Two rivals go at it like that. And uh, very proud of our guys the way we competed. And and uh, you know scored points, didn't have turnovers. Uh, defense, we did what we had to do and we, we needed to and uh, got, got out here with the victory. All right, your first question is from Brent Zwerman with the Houston Chronicle. Jimbo wanted to ask you the importance of Hez Jones' return to the lineup and what that means to your receiving core. Well, I mean, the experience to do different things. He's been in games. He's played well. It was great. I think it was great to get him out there and play. And, and the multiplicity of being able to move guys around and move him around because he knows all the positions too. So you can game plan guys and get matchups and things you want to do. That was very big getting him back. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from Zach Taylor from WTAW. Yeah, Jimbo, you had made mention of uh, no turnovers tonight. How imperative was that with huh. Arkansas coming in, leading the conference and interception? Well, they were creating turnovers, and we're going to need them because they kept scoring on us. So we had to have them, and we, you know, we would have changed the momentum of the game. And like I say, that's the other thing. When you're in a game like that, when you're match, 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 and then you get a turnover, man, that can change your momentum quickly. And the other big play in this game that I thought was just as big as a turnover was us getting the stop right before half on the drive by our defense, which I think was very critical in the game. All right, let's go to Owen Buchanan from Texax. Yeah, hi, Jimbo. A couple of things. First of all, you said, um, if you just speak to the success on third down, both uh, offensively and defensively, and Kellen seemed uh, particularly sharp all night, but especially on third down. He really was. We, I was in two things. We were 7-11 on third down on offense, man. We were converting, and at last was the, the only time we punted until we got to the fourth quarter, those conversions at the end. And we had one of them as a drop, I believe. We had a drop there. We could have had an 8 out of 11 until we got to the end. And uh, in our defense, 3 of 11 getting off the field. I mean, those are critical things. And the other part for us, too, was scoring four out of four touchdowns in the red zone. But that was big. And uh, like I say, third down is always a critical part of this game. And Kellen and our play, our offensive line, our backs, our receivers, everybody, tight ends are all doing a great job on third down. And, uh, yeah, I know you're going to have to look at uh, the, the films and everything. But uh, just from – off the top of your head, is there anything that you were frustrated with tonight or that you uh, feel like you should have done better? Yeah, we didn't win 80 to nothing. I'm not, I'm not joking about that. I mean, I'm always frustrated. If we don't score every time, we don't stop them every time. I mean, I joke. But, I know, we got we, we know we gave up some things on defense, but they played good situations there. I didn't like the way we finished the game offensively. Uh, our four-minute offense, the last four out of five, three out of four games, four out of five games, we have – been able to uh, run the clock out those last four or five minutes and not give the ball back. And we had a couple of little errors there and miscommunications that is uncharacteristic and didn't, you know, even though we had the six scoring drives, I was disappointed there that we weren't able to run the clock out and, not, and, and kept giving them the ball back. You know what I mean? In those situations. Uh, Defense, I wish we hadn't give up that last drive, but, you know, there's, we're always, we're a work in progress. We're, we're a long way from finished and we'll just keep grinding. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. All right, let's go to Travis Brown from the Bryan College Station Eagle. Yeah, Coach, uh, with some of the criticism that Kellen Mond took early in the season, is it a little bit um, – is it, do you feel a little bit justified in sticking with him and what he's been able to do when he accomplishes these, these records? I didn't know – I mean, like yes tonight? I have that, that criticism, I don't ever read it. I don't ever pay attention to it. I know what he can do, how he can do it. I've always believed in Kellen. I've always felt very good about him. He keeps growing and growing each and every week, and he keeps playing better and better. So, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to be – I mean, you know, we're, we're going to do what we do – and uh, based off the judgment we see in practice and who they are. And uh, I've always thought he was a, he's a heck of a football player and he keeps growing. Appreciate it. Thank you. The next question is from Jennifer Streeter from the Battalion. Hey, Coach, you had multiple defensive players, milestone of 100 career tackles. How do you feel overall about your defensive performance tonight, especially Miles Jones and Keldrick Harper? I, I saw Miles make a couple big picks. He almost had a big pick right there at the end. Boy, I wish he – Wish he could have held on to that one, but he played pretty good. Uh, those guys are all making a ton of plays uh, defensively. They're very opportunistic. They got they moved the football, but we got some critical stops in the red zone, tight zone down there right before the half, like I said. 
Uh, second half there, once, once we got them under control there, a couple got two and a couple stops and let us get that three and four score lead. So we're, you know, we're getting better and better there, and uh, we'll keep growing. Next question is from Robert Sessa from the Bryan College Station Eagle. Yeah, Jim, I wanted to ask you about the offensive line. No sacks again, uh, some good lengths to run, a couple holding penalties. How did your offensive line get better during the open week? Well, we just fundamentally got back there. We did. I think we had three holding penalties, if I'm not mistaken. We had three holding penalties, which was very uncharacteristic. And we and we had one. And we had two and one. Let me tell you what. Now we had two holding penalties in one drive and overcame them and scored a touchdown. That doesn't happen very often now. And uh, that was big play by our skill guys. But our offensive line is getting better and better. They're playing physical. They're they're communicate. One of the things that I I think is critical. At 77, our center and all those guys, there's experience up there. The communications of getting hats to a hat, knowing what's going to happen before it happens, knowing how to game plan. And so in turn, that allows your technique to get better, and they're getting it. And I think the other part of that is right, being able to physically run the ball. And then Kellen's reading things, putting us in the right plays. He's getting the ball out. It's a combination of everything. But it starts with our offensive line. Thank you. Thank you. Go to Gabe Bach from TexAx.com. Jimbo, you touched on it, but I'd love to get you to dive a little bit deeper into Tyree Johnson's sack on third down just before the half. How huge was that to keep it to 14? It was really big because if they score there, then they got the ball coming out second half. No matter how well you played, it's 28-28. Don't I keep telling people, you're up 14 points. Everybody, you get to the, you got to get to that three-score barrier, then get to that four-score barrier and all the things. That was a huge, huge play in the game. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it was first half or second. Wasn't there a hold he got one time, too? They held him. Was that second half? That might have been second half. So there was two big plays by him down the red zone that really helped out. Yeah, he also had a pressure that forced an incomplete yes. pass, I think, in the first half. And uh, offensively, how close is Achain to becoming a big piece to the puzzle? Oh, he is. I mean, I, I, listen, I feel comfortable putting him in the game at any place, anytime. I really do. I have no problem with that. Uh, he can catch it. He can run it. He's blocking well. And, feel, and like I say, at the end of the game, we're running the clock out. We got him in the game, too. I trust him enough at the end of the game with the game on the line. So I, he's becoming a big piece of what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next question is from uh, by, uh, Dudley Dawson from Hogs Illustrated and then Mark Passwaters. Coach, talk a little bit. Arkansas's defense has been very optimistic with their turnovers this year. and Y'all didn't give them any momentum. How important was that? I think it was huge. I, you know, I was worried when we got a couple holding penalties and got behind the sticks. You know what I'm saying? That's when those, that's when they've been very opportunistic. Kellen and those guys made some really big plays there. were very critical. Uh, but, you know, the, I think the other thing, we stayed in good positive down in distances most of the time. So we are, so he didn't have to take crazy risks and things like that. And I think we picked up, you know, we did a good job of getting a hat to a hat on the blitzes. Because I'm going to say, Barry does a great job on defense. He's hard to go against, man. I'm telling you, he had me, he had to give me a headache all week. And uh, he's very multiple, different personnel, does a really good job. And fortunately, we come out of there with no turnovers. All right, we've got a couple more questions on the queue. Let's go to Mark Passwaters at Rivals.com and then Kirk Bowles. Uh, coach, uh, Jalen had a huge night tonight with uh, – 92 yards and a couple of scores. You said Barry's really tough to go against, but it looked like you guys had great success finding ways to get Jalen on the ball. Well, just we wanted to see if you talk about his performance. Some. I thought he did well. I thought and he, he was blocking really good. He missed a couple there at the end, but he's learned to be a complete. We talk about his receiving, but he's learned to be a complete tight end. He's being physical, and, and that's, that's big for him. And, and it's big for us because we have to have him do that. But he made some really big critical plays, the two touchdowns. I mean, there was a, a big uh, vertical route down there. It got us down there right before the half. It was I thought it was a big score. Once it went 21-14, two drives were critical in the game. I was going back to make it 28-14. And then getting a stop right before half, holding him to a field goal the first or second half, and then going right back and getting a touchdown and getting up three scores was critical. And he was a big part of all of them. He, he's really becoming a good football player. Thanks. Thank you. All right, let's go to Kirk Bowles at the Austin American Statesman. Yeah, Jimbo, do you feel like your team is playing like a top 10 should look like when it's playing? <laughs> I, I don't know what a top ten looks like. I just know we just got to play better than the guy we're playing. That's all I'm worried about, and keep getting better, and keep you know keep self-inflicted wounds and the things down. We're far from a polished uh, group yet. We got a lot of work to do. That's that's encouraging. We're still able to pull some wins out, and we got a lot of work to do to get better. So, you know, hey, I'm just happy we're playing as well as we're playing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coach. That's all the questions I got for you. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good Thanks. evening.